same written. Also 54 times. So Esther and Haman, you know, back and forth, back and forth. Someone told me an interesting thing. I, I, just, I don't know if this is true. Someone told me an interesting thing. It says there's a story going around that there were two Jewish boys in Iran who wrote, it was coming closer to Purim, wrote on the wall, Oru Haman, curse Haman, and they got arrested. And when they asked what was their crime, maybe it was graffiti, I don't know what their crime was, they said, you cursed our leader. <laughs> so they said, your leader? Who's the leader? Who's the spiritual leader in Iran? What's his name? Ayatollah, Ayatollah Khomeini. Khomeini. Oh, Khomeini. So they said, Khomeini comes from the word? Hamon. Hamon. <laughs> so, Oru Hamon means you're cursing Hamoni, Hamoni. That Khomeini believes he's a descendant from Hamon, and his job is to finish what Hamon started, killing out all the Jews. <laughs> so when they wrote Oru Hamon, it was like saying, curse Khomeini. Now, I never thought about that before, that the name Khomeini, if you write it in Hebrew, has the osios letters Hamon right in there. Now, that's a fascinating thing. You know, you can't make this stuff up. You know, I, I like to make this stuff up, but I, I, I'm not the one who made this stuff up. It's just a fascinating thing that it has in there. Khomeini is, is Hamon. It's just, it's